Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. In this video, I'm going to use electrolysis to clean this flathead V8 engine block. Alright, so electrolysis is the process of using electricity to clean metal, basically. So to do it, you need a few things. Number one, you need a metal part that you want to clean. I have that engine block there. You need a non-conductive container um, big enough to fit the part you want to clean. You need a power source, so I have this um, battery charger here. You need a sacrificial piece of steel to serve as the cathode, which you hook the positive terminal up to. So I have this, um, this concrete reinforcement there, um, that stuff that I kind of bent around to get a nice even spread in there. So that's what the positive current flows through. The negative terminal then is hooked up to the actual part you want to clean. And then once you put this in there, you'll fill this up with water and then add some of this Arm & Hammer washing soda. It's not baking soda, so don't confuse it with that. Um, this helps the water conduct electricity better and actually clean your part. So, I'm going to hoist this engine up and put it inside this container here, and then I'll fill this up with water. I'll probably add this stuff as I go to make sure it mixes in there um, pretty well. A couple things to make sure is that you don't want your part to touch any of the, any of the cathode material there, because then you'll short circuit it and it's not going to work. All right, so I've had this in here for um, several hours now, I'd say, and so, and you can obviously see um, all that rust coming out um, up to the surface there. Um, so I just have um, terminals hooked up there. I have this thing set on 12 volts at two amps. It only has three settings, two amps, 40 amps, and 200 amps. Um, so 200 amps is obviously way too much. So I just tried um, two amps and it seems to be working just fine. So I'm going to keep it like this maybe for a couple days. Um, the nice thing about having this right below um, the hoist here is I can just kind of turn this stuff off and then and lift it up out of here to check it kind of whenever I want to. I just have to be careful that when I put it back in, it's not touching those wires around the edges. So I might leave, I'll probably leave this in for maybe 24 hours or so, and then I'll take it out and check it just to see what it looks like. All right, so I've had this in here for pretty much 24 hours by this point. Um, in here you can kind of see um, the end of the bell housing there. I was kind of rubbing on it with this, this stick here with that friction pad on there. And as you can what you can kind of see there, um, that's bare metal. So it looks pretty clean. So I'm going to try to hoist this up out to check it. When it comes out it's probably going to look very black because that's kind of what this does. It replaces the rust with um, some other compound that looks black. I forget what it's called. but. Um, I'm going to take it out and see what it looks like. All right, well, this seems to have worked um, really well. Right here, I just kind of um, rubbed it with this, this scotch brite pad and then rinsed it off, and like that's, that's bare metal right there. Um, you can see here some paint that was over here, and that just comes right off. Um, all the all the grease seems to be loosened as well. Um, over here, this was like rust or, or paint or something, and that just you can see that comes right off now. So I think this seems pretty good. I'm going to take this out now and pressure wash it, and maybe um, rub rub it down with this stuff some more.
All right, so I've got this all cleaned up now, and this turned out actually surprisingly well. You can see here, this is all just bare cast iron. There's no rust or, or leftover paint or anything like that on there. It got rid of pretty much all the grease too. I could have left it in another day or two, and it probably would have taken out all the grease on the, on the inside here. It got most of it, but you can still feel a little bit of a residue left, but that's fine. Um, I have it all sprayed down with WD-40 so that it won't start to flash rust on me because it was starting to do that um, in places since this bare cast iron will rust um, very fast if you just leave it out in the open. So anyways, right now I've got the oil pan here and this is what I'm going to throw in next. One thing you need to be careful about with electrolysis is things like this. Um, this little piece here on the, on the dipstick tube is actually aluminum and aluminum will be completely dissolved um, by the electrolysis if you leave it in as long as you need to to clean the steel. You can do it like very briefly for like, I don't know, maybe 15, 30 minutes. Um, but if you're, if you're cleaning metal part, like steel parts that have aluminum on it, um, that will get, get disintegrated. So I need to drill out those three rivets to take this piece out and then later I can just rivet, rivet it back on. Alright, so I got it in there now. You can see it's almost completely submerged. I can just add a little bit more water um, to fix that. Um, that should be good. I'll leave that in there um, another 24 hours, I'd say. Maybe a little bit longer because this has a lot of, a lot of grease on it. So I'll take this out when, when I think it's ready. Alright, so I've had the oil pan in here for almost two days now. And you can see a lot of the grease and stuff floating on the top. So um, this should be pretty good. I'm going to take this out, um, pressure wash it and see how clean it turns out. All right, overall this engine cleaned up really well here. Um, this is my first time ever using electrolysis and I think it turned out um, really well. The oil pan too, when I first pressure washed this uh, over the summer a while ago, um, on the outside of the oil pan here, there was like a lot of very hard, um, like dirty grease that, had, that was like, it was so hard on there, not even the pressure washer would take it off. Um, but when I pulled this out of the, the electrolysis bath, all that stuff was gone. I didn't even have to do anything to it. Um, so that really shows how, how tough that is on, on grease and rust, I think. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you for this video. Um, if you have any rusty parts like this, even a whole engine, I highly recommend electrolysis. Um, it's very simple, um, easy, and cheap if you have a battery charger like the one I had. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.